Happy Sunday. We are here. We got a really crazy wild setup today. If you can see on the table here, we got the computer set up in the foreground. We got all sorts of things happening here. Getting things situated. Uh, due to some really, really awesome people. Obviously, you guys are here in the chat. We got stuff rolling on. We can watch ourselves picture in picture. Really cool stuff going on. But we had something sent into the channel, and it is a large, large box. It is 10 times larger than this package here. So we got all the fun stuff set up. We're rolling on this. We'll probably take this away. Let's see what that looks like if we take it away. It's all good. It's all good. We'll keep it rolling. But happy to see everybody here. I'll probably grab my little iPad to do it. Yeah, a little picture in picture. What's up, Top Dog? We got Top Dog, a member of the crew is here, as well as Gator Aaron, a member of the crew, master moderator, Big Red EDC, and member of the Platinum Crew is here. David Iverson, member of the Platinum Crew, as well as Z-Man's EDC. We got Pocket Razors and Gold Class Crew. We got Will B here as well, member of the crew. Michael R is here, member of the crew. We got JR Miz, Gold Class Crew member. I'm still in Washington. No, I rallied back last night. So hopefully the internet holds. We'll see. We'll probably have to turn this off because everybody's using the internet here. And we are far away from the router. So good times, good times. Okay, well, as you can see, we got a little package to uh, open here. We got a little bit of fun knives that we'll put up and we'll look at here in just a minute. Get those all fancy laid out like that. We got Addicted to Blades 2 here. We got El Cap Attic in the house. We got Paul Windmiller, member of the Platinum Crew. Of course, we mentioned Top Dog, member of the crew. Joe Kasprick is here. Rusty Knife Lover, member of the Gold Class Crew. Tom Weingart, member of the crew and Master Moderator is here. Darth BMX, member of the crew is here. Thanks for being here. Salty Smurf, Blades with Bill are both here. Thank you for joining in. Now, we'll see if we missed anybody because we had some early members here. We had David Iverson, Pocket Razors, Gator Aaron, I think was the first one here today. Drinkwater, a member of the crew, is here as well. Adventure Man, another member of the crew, is here. Thank you all for jumping in. Dr. Drew is here. Dr. Drew Dude, El Cap Attic. Let's see what else we got. There we go. Sharp Guy ATX, member of the Gold Class crew. Brock Mills is here. What's up, homies? He says, Brock Mills, welcome. Welcome to your homies. What's up, Mark Vickers? How are you doing? We're going to crack this open right here. We'll do it on camera since we got the little liquid death severed lime. Just pulled it out of the fridge, nice and cold. A little refreshment for today. Now, I was going to start like zoomed in, have a little like place thing. But I had to find somewhere that was big enough to kind of hold everything, you know? So it was one of those things where I'm like, where's something big enough, a counter big enough to hold this box? I don't even know if it's all going to be on frame. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a fun one. We also have this box or this little package done box. We also got this little package here as well. So we're going to open a few things today. We're going to go through them. Brasher Beer is here. What's happening? Welcome, welcome. So yeah, I had a fun little day yesterday. Took a drive up, did a little April Fool's uh, prank on Big Red. You know, told them in the chat like, hey, I'm not going to be able to stick around. Got some duties to do, you know, take care of and uh, hang out with a friend. And of course, it was hanging out with him. So it was fun to sit there. Thanks for sharing your live stream with me. And then prior to that, had a great uh, little lunch with Z-Man, ZDC, and Little Z-Man. So that was a fun trip. See some people. Yeah, it was too funny. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Do you live on Friday? No, I did not. No, I did not. No, we had we ran into too many other channels doing live streams, so we had to kind of put that off. So you didn't miss it. You'll be here to have fun today. We'll do a little live streaming. Now I am going to ask, I am going to ask 
a question today. Uh, we're going to do a question right away, I think. Let me see here. Let me pull this up. Let's see if I can pull it up on my little pad here. I need to know. So this is for, what's up, Tim B? Welcome, welcome. Mike Jernak, Gold Class crew members here. What's up, man? One Moon, new crew members here. What's happening? Thanks for jumping in. So we're going to do a Zach Stuff swag giveaway right now. And it's going to go to the very first person that can tell me the, let's see. I don't want to give it away too soon. I got to double check myself. You know what I'm saying? We got to double check. Double check from a previous video. Okay. So from a recent previous video, I need to know what the price on the eyelashes was. If you can tell me, first person to tell me what the price of the eyelashes were in the previous video, you will win a Zach Stuff swag pack giveaway. No guesses, it's gotta be the exact price. So we will see people throwing up. Radio Outdoors, Platinum Crew members here in the Knife Pub, Rusty Knife Lovers. Everybody's throwing in some guesses. Nobody, nobody really knows. Did anybody watch the video? A few of you guys watched the video, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that. What's up, CK? Platinum Crew member. Miss Aubrey and Mr. Max saying hello as well. What's happening? Don't recall. Hmm. Had a heck of a week. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Big Jimpins in the house. Joe Isabella, a member of the crews here. Everybody's throwing some guesses up, but no actual numbers. Uncle Cow's in the house. What's up, Uncle Cow? Yeah, we're looking for that exact price. Haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know. Nelly guesses. <laughs> Nelly, oh, that's a, that's a fair guess. Fair guess. What's up, Napster Ninja? Remember the crew? Thanks for being here. <laughs> yep, people throwing up all sorts of guesses. Z Man's EDC coming in hot with the 997. There you go. Congratulations, Z-Man, ZDC. Shoot me a message. We'll get you a little swag pack out to you. We, we can find something special and fun as well for you. Because I know I just got you some swag yesterday. <laughs> All right. Nice guess. Nice guess. There were some close ones, but it was $9.97. That was the uh, price at Costco for the pack of eyelashes. Nice, Big Red. Nice. I love it. All right, so we're going to take a couple look, or a couple look. We're going to take a look at a couple of these knives real quick. We got the Benchmade Redoubt. It's kind of that upgraded Griptilian style for me. You know what I mean? Super awesome. I love the blade coating on these. They do it up pretty right. This isn't the best for, you know, up-close videos, so I apologize. But it's got that beautiful texturing on the handle. And that material does... Have a little noise and it does come off. DSKFS to Gator Aaron. Rock and roll, Z-Man. All right, Gator Aaron, send me an email. Zach.edc at gmail.com. We will get you that swag pack courtesy of Z-Man. Thank you so much, Z-Man. That's your next guest, Tom said. Yeah, nice. Brand new Americans here. What's happening? Right on. Slim tissue in the house. What's going down? I love it. I love it. Yeah, so it's not the easiest to see, so I apologize, but the fat waffle texture, they call it all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's not really a waffle texture, technically. To me, it's more like just a extended jimping pattern throughout the whole little piece here. But this piece does come off in a U-shape. It's kind of cool, pretty neat to look at. One of those things. We also, of course, this is what I showed on SKL yesterday. This is the Benchmade tagged out with those beautiful Rogue Blade Works blue G10 scales. They got the wave pattern G10 on them. 
Just gorgeous. Lanyard delete, so apologize to the Lanyard fans in advance. And then, of course, the other one we looked at was the Hogue RSK, or sorry, the Hogue Ritter Mini RSK MK1 G2 in carbon fiber and that increased HRC magnet cut. So pretty cool, got the Starburst pattern on it. Then, of course, the Mini Freak with those AWT scales, the Archeon. I love that. Big Red's throwing some links up in there. It just turns this knife into just a winner. A big time winner. Yes, indeed, Joe. Uh, <laughs> that's, a that's a pretty funny comment. I like that. Rusty's like, after years of marriage, I have learned to ignore things like eyelashes. Big Red throwing the link up for the Rogue Blade Work scales there, as well as the Applied Weapons Technology. Thanks, Big Red, for throwing those links in. Appreciate that. The D2s held up good. The CPM D2, they did a good job at it. Um, to me, they've used it for a little while. So, you know, I like I like the, the heat treat. I like the, how it stands up. It holds an edge for a good amount of time. So, to me, it's better than a D2 by a little bit. So, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. All right. So, this got me out of my game a little bit here. So, let's kind of reorganize a little bit. Get a couple things onto the the chopping block. But first off, we need to know what you're carrying today. And then I'll show you what I'm carrying. And then we'll get into this a little bit. We also have the channel and boxing knife that we brought out here. Thanks to Keith the Knife Freak for that. Flipping the Ferrum Forge, says Michael R. The 818 BK Loco for Rado Outdoors. Nice, nice. I love it, I love it. Bug out aluminum with blue studs and spacers for Gator Aaron. Nice. Aaron B's carrying the USA Trifecta today. Mini Adamas with weathered red AWT wrist scales. 15V Manix with charcoal green AWT scales. And the Magna Cut Deca with OG green extended scales. Very nice. Let's see. Hi, Anton. Anton's here. Antoni. I Antoni. Said hi to Anton a little earlier. Kubi KU316 for Big Red DC. Um, let's see here. Look at that. It's the first CP in doing. I adore it. It says Knife Pub. Nice, nice. Blue Pattern Coney Garius for Paul Windmiller. Rusty Knife Lovers got the Victorinox Pioneer X and the Hogue Ritter Mini RSK MK1G2 and CPM Magnet Cut Scarbon Fiber. Do -do 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 -do. They just need to shorten that up, man. I think we're all a little tired of saying that whole long name. Hogue Mini Ritter, that's all we need to say. Hogue Mini Ritter. And people just know. And you can clarify what you got, but let me talk to Doug about that. He'll say no, but that's okay. And Tony's got the Bug Out. Mad Hatter Series got the SPD Mini Evo, Harpoon Tonto. Cheeto Bandito's in the house. Just the vape and a phone still in the PJ, says Z Man. Microtech UTX85 for Sean Lidicote. Benchmade SOCP for Addicted to Blades 2. AD 20.5 and Orange Gravery, Hogue Decca, and G Mascus, and I3T for Adventure Man. What's up, One Minute Knife Review? Member of the crew jumping in. Tucson TS129 for William Linderman. David Iverson's got the ZT0393 SW. The Hinder Emmett Bowie, the Baby B, the Victorinox Camper, and the Forest Hank. Will B's still sick at home. We'll get better, my friend. Just the Grismo Norseman today with the Reich Knight on the bed next to me. Sound like some good partners to heal up and get rested up. Definitely for sure. Got to use cut and paste for that full name. Yeah, exactly, Gator. Exactly. 100%. All right. So we got to jump on the chat. Everyone's putting it in. So that's awesome. We have the Spyderco Tonto PM2 and M4 and Best Tech Slither for a pretty fly for a knife guy. Fresh Beer's got the Kaiser Cormorant XL3V Swiss Army Explorer and the Phoenix E320 or the E3 or just the E20. Uh, Bug Out for El Cap Attic. Very nice. Sog Ultra XR for one minute knife reviews. The Hogue RSK is so slick. Carbon Fiber Dama Barrage and a Carbon Fiber Dama Crooked River for Slim Tissue. Holding down the custom Benchmade game over there. I love it. The Knife Pub got my first hinder, the XM18 3.5 with working finish, Makarta front scale, and some Battle Bronze anodized hardware. Uh, that sounds amazing. I bet it looks really nice. Nice. Well, congrats on your first hinder. 
Brant would be happy. He will carry the torch for you all night long. Artisan, Arion, Purple Haze, Fat Carbon, the Vox Dapper, and a slice of pizza for J.R. Miz. Fishing for Dollars. Got the 940 BK-2004 in altitude. Got a little tie in there. I like that. And little blue accents. Okay. Got to use cut and paste. Yep, definitely. We talked about that. EMPC, EMP, EDC, Nimble T with Timascus Hardware for experience precision. Howdy, howdy, says Tim Cook, member of the crew. Thanks for jumping in. Got the CS4 Max Scout to open my chip bag as the screen rolls by. Medford Praetorian Swift Auto and S45VN for Johnny Quesada, member of the crews in the house. Welcome, Johnny. David's here as well. Welcome, welcome. Three on me today, says Wheat City Soul. It's got the SE Azula S35VN extended scales, M390 bug out, the D2 Elementum. CK's got the Mini Osborne. And the chat jumped. Jump, jump. Need to get a little uh, a little noise app for that. CK's got the Mini Osborne, the Murdered Out Osborne, and an Angry Watermelon. Napster Ninja's putting together a nice strands. Or knife standards, right? Rough Rider. What? A standards Rough Rider right now? And we'll carry a Benchmade Crooker over there. Oh, okay. Putting together a knife standards Rough Rider right now. Okay. Knife standards. Huh. I don't know what that is. Uh, PM2 S30V tie scales for brand new American. G Ball Visions in the house. What's happening? The Reich P128 SB, the Best Tech Beluga, and the Phoenix LD30 for Joe Kasperick. Leatherman style PS and a jank block for Uncle Cal. Who pissed off the watermelon? Savivi McKenna for Layla. What's up, Layla? Cheeto Bandito, the SRM7728 for Tom. We need to get a drink here while the chat replays and up fills. It's always moving. It's always jumping like a little crisscross. Make you want to jump, jump. Roman's in the house. What's up, Roman? Got the mini, mini Evo Harpoon. Very nice. S45 pair of two and a sack tinker with Macarta scales for Andrew Arnold, gold class crew member. Very nice. Civivi Elementum button lock from Mark Vickers. I like the button locks. I like them. Small Sabenza 31, black Macarta inlay, and a Civivi Voltaic for Dane Gavrolowski, the platinum crew member. Nice full size carry there let's see who else we got here pretty fly for a knife guy one moon's in the house got the j cape the hmc mini the two saints tactical lighter the nefarious art co pick big jimpin's got the mini adamas and burgundy micarta and the wee ziffus ziffius and it's all got the carbon fiber with integral backspace and hand rub satin blade, probably backspacer. Uh, got my fixed blade elementum, says Cheeto Bandito, the case sod buster junior, Victor Knox super tinker. We're getting caught up here and it just jumped. We're like so close and then it just jumped. Let's go back and find our place in line again. Carry the Spyderco Manix 2 with the M4 blade, says blades with Bill. What's happening, my brothers, says G-Ball. Vincent's in the house. What's up, Vincent? Carrying the Ontario Rat S30V blade. Very nice. Shout out for M390 Bugs today. Oh, my goodness. We got Martial Law in the house. Martial Law 123. Kershaw Livewire OTF in my pocket. And he's dropping some super chats. Marshall, thank you so much. It was great to meet up with you this week. That's kind of weak here. Hold on. We need to get a little louder. We need to do a little faster. There we go. That's a little better. A little off topic, so it makes it a little harder. A little out of my normal zone. Demonod 13, PM2 and M4, and a Baton. Baton? Baton 3. Keeping it light today. A Baton 3. Atlantic Knife has the Titanium Pyrite. There you go. There you go. There you go. Got some ones. Martial Law jumping in. DSKFS. What's good, fam? What's good? 
It was fun to meet up with Marshall. Um, his video will drop this week. You'll see it. It is an awesome, awesome look at the 8020.5 with some blue G10. And Gator Aaron dropping some gifted memberships. <laughs> Looks like we got all sorts of people getting memberships in here. We got Cheeto Bandito, Tim B, G Ball Vision, Blades with Bill, Slim Tissue, all gifted memberships. From our friend and awesome, awesome crew member, Gator Aaron. You guys give a little love to Gator Aaron. Thank you, sir. That is awesome. <laughs> New members. There's a video up recently. You can go and check out the awesome, awesome sale that I had going. So get it on that. If there's anything you want, check it out. Get some awesome emojis now. Get to use those as well. Aberdeen Blades in the house. What's up? Tim B said, hey, Cousin Tony from New Jersey. Hey, Cousin Tony's in the house. Very nice. Yeah, grip went fast. Big Red saw that, was like, got it. Yeah, he knew it was discontinued. He wanted it. You know, I had an extra one. Rusty Knife Lover, member for 21 months in the Gold Crew. Uh-oh. Says DSKFS in hashtag be up for our good friend Jason Brown. Always remembering him. There's a link right there. If you want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, there's a link in the live stream chat. And there's also a link down in the description. I appreciate all the members. Everyone supporting. PNW for fun in the house. What's happening? Big Red, member for 32 months. Hashtag DSKFS. Most definitely. Rob Tenring, member of the crew's here. What happened with the Costco monkey bread? They uh, they they took all the other ones off the shelf. They put all new ones out, and they had no problem exchanging it. But even though I had the receipt, they're like, oh, we got to put it on a gift card, or we can give you cash. I'm like, I'm just going to go grab another one off the shelf, you know, and buy like five more things. So that's all good. That's how we do it, right? Definitely going to be now. Yep, yep. Yeah, we got all sorts of fun here. We got the good time rain and snow mix going on. Supposed to maybe have thunderstorms again today. You never know what's going to happen. Our stuff is awesome. Thank you again, Gator Aaron, and for Martial Law 123 for the donations and the donated memberships. Definitely in need of some more Zach swag. Yeah, we all do. We all do. CK dropping a members or a super chat little ha <laughs> thank you ck i appreciate that ants in the house member of the crew dr drew dude says i'm losing phone signal but i'm hanging as long as i can right on right on yeah so it's good they, they took care of things you know um, and then I was like, all right, I got to get out. I got to get out of this place. We need to get over to, to Harbor Freight and to some other places today. So if you haven't checked out that video, it was a pretty fun one. It was fun to kind of go take, take a look at some stuff. Byron Kennedy's in the house. What's happening? Lurking and driving. Nice, nice. I love it. I almost have uh, Big Red convinced to go check it out. You know what I mean? He's got, a, he's got a Harbor Freight near him, and he's got one of them. But he probably has all the tools he needs, so he's like, I'm good, I'm good. Let's see, we're going to pull this up on a different iPad so we can get a look at it. Is the screen still fuzzy? I can't tell. How's the, how's the quality on this stuff? You guys got to let me know. Oh, my goodness, Big Red EDC dropping some memberships. Big Red EDC, thank you so much. How's the quality on this stuff? Uh-oh. I'm going to pause that. Um, let's see. Retail stores finding any knives. Big Red EDC, all right, we're getting caught up here. A little out of whack with <laughs> this setup today, but we're making it work. Byron Kennedy got a gifted membership. El Cap Addict. Addict, to Blades 2, Douglas Wagner. And Mark Vickers. Thank you, Big Red. That's very kind of you to do that. 
Thank you so much for that. I'm trying to look a little bit fuzzy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing it's got to be the Wi-Fi, you guys. Guess, guessing it's got to be the Wi-Fi. We got too many devices using stuff. We are too far away from things. So let me shut down this other device. I got to see if I can pull this stuff up. Got to fix this. Got to fix the screens. We got to make them more clear. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let me see if I can get this turned back on. Because I don't want to unbox stuff if we're looking at blurry screens. We gotta fix all that. ASAP. ASAP Rocky. Well, jeez. This sucks. Blurry screens suck. Alright, let me figure something out here. Stand by. Stand by to stand by. What's in the box? That's what we're all trying to figure out, but I got to get these other ones unboxed first, but we are way too far away to get a good signal on the router. So that kind of sucks very much. So, okay. So how can we do this? Oh, I feel like OCD for EDC here. We got, uh, we got bad, bad streaming going on. El Cap Attic, thank you so much for the super chat donation. Give a shout out to El Cap Attic in the house. Well, we may have to. I don't know why it keeps keeps trying to play my stuff. It's like, go away, please, go away, please. Okay. El Cap Attic, thank you so much. So I'm imagining we are still nice and fuzzy. And I don't know what's going to fix it. So we're going to have to move forward a little bit. And thank whoever brought this awesome box for me, which I pretty much have an idea of who. But we're going to put this up on the counter. So you can kind of see how big it is. This is what's going to be next to unbox. So it's pretty awesome. Kay Mason's in the house. Remember the gold crest? Gold class crew. Hey, it cleared up. Well, hopefully so. Just got better. All right. Well, we'll roll with it for a little while. Maybe there was just too much going on and it needed the big box in there. Click the like, y'all. What's up, Aaron B? You got the Kaiser D1 Macarta. I'm working on a small screen, so if I miss your stuff, sorry. Uh, versions are 50% off at Prime. Okay. And Fuzzy Wuzzy wants Fuzzy Wuzzy. He was, 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 his, it was a. Well, sometimes you just got to roll with it. And unfortunately, this is what we get today. So let's move some of this stuff out of here. It doesn't have as much stuff to focus on. Best internet in the world, but your whole neighborhood's on the internet and watching TV, then you get stuff like that. The large box was using the Wi-Fi. It was the farthest away is the problem. So maybe it brought more reflective signal to it. The box contains bandwidth. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Kresk? I know, right? It has a hidden uh, Wi-Fi band in it. <laughs> I remember you had a code of night theater. I can't remember the name. Do you have a dimension? What is it? What was that? All right. So we're not posting any codes today. Um, the stuff I was, people I was working with before was um, with, uh, Oh, light. We have another sale coming up on there, so it'll be good. Might be bouncing. We got all sorts of stuff bouncing. Okay, so this is a package right here. This one is some stuff I ordered from OCD for EDC. So we're going to check that out. Now, I ordered because, oh, we got some new stuff in here. We got some, some little toys or random junk. Halloween pen. Okay, that's the cap for the Halloween pen. That makes sense now. Well, we got some giveaway items for today, so that's good. Got a little Halloween top. We must have cleaned out the Halloween drawer. We got a bill, or a receipt, I should say. Nom, nom, nom is what it says. <laughs> Alrighty, fair enough, there we go. 
Is this the box of 940s Jordan from last month, Zach? I think so. I think so. We got some OCD swag, which is awesome. Some stickers. We got something in here. We're going to have to open this up in a second. I think that's what I ordered. And we got two packages of Slick em All and the new tubes, which is awesome with the new stickers. Really cool, really cool. Let's throw one of those into today's little deal. Oh, he sent me an updated set of the pivot alignment tool and all the stuff to break down your axis style locks and knives. So that's cool. It's got the little wedge, so it holds everything back as well, your blade and all that stuff. And it's got the new updated one for the 940 sizes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I was like, where's the stuff I ordered? The other one I ordered, but it's right here. So this I think is going to be my CME for, well, I guess we'll have to tear this. I was like, how do you get that open? Kia Mason, I think I said hi, just making sure. Very awesome. So this is the whole kit. You get a couple stickers, well, at least one sticker with it. You get the instructions, alcohol prep pad. You get the super glue, everything to put on your CME. And this one is going to be the, the new one that's kind of the, they called it the grayish color, the grayish. And that's gonna go extremely perfect on my Manix 2, just kidding. No, the uh, Spyderco PM2, I actually ordered this for a friend. But it kind of matches, as you can see, I have this one right here, but I want to show you kind of how well it matches with the Brown G10. Mrs. OCD in the house. Old dad will be in here soon. Nice. Yeah, I was just showing everybody how this matches the Brown G10. Um, I ordered this one for a friend um, who was nice enough to loan me his awesome knife. So this will be headed out. Uh, on the return trip with it. But yeah, wanted to get that ordered, so it's pretty cool. So shout out to Mrs. OCD for making all that stuff happen. So you guys, go order it. Yeah, Grayish, exactly, Mason. Okay, Mason, that's the exact spelling of it. Um, but yeah, go order yours if you have one of those because it'll match that, that 15V Brown G10 almost perfectly. So that's pretty cool. Well, uh, Cheeto Bandito, Nelly made some lasagna, which was really delicious. So that was really nice of them to do that. Had a little salad, a little bread, um, but the lasagna was really good. So some homemade sauce and all the goodies, you know, you know how it is. Nelly's, Nelly's not going to let me show up and not, you know, feed me something. And But yeah, I had, a, I had an awesome lunch. So I had, I met up with Marshall this week, which was really cool. Um, hung out with Marshall for a little bit. Met up with Z-Man yesterday and little Z-Man, had a little lunch, and then we ended up uh, going back and surprising Big Red. That was pretty cool. But if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Big Red, post a link up to your SKL from last night. It was fun. Zach at Alpaca Gear, they have a special edition, vivid color blue you like. It's a pocket organizer I think you'll like. I would drop the link, but won't without permission. Yeah, Experience Precision, you can send that... Uh, that link over and we'll drop it in there. You can send it to myself or Big Red. We can post it up in there. Or Tom or, you know, Marshall or any of the other mods you have in here. We can post that up, go check it out. We'll take a look. So this one right here, let me see where it comes from. This is the order fulfillment desk. So nicely, nicely packaged. You know, the uh, cardboard got a little torn up, but, you know, safely inside another one. What's up, OCD for ECs in the house? Platinum crew member, master moderator, having a good weekend. And we just opened up the the Grage CME and showed that off with the, the 15V Manix 2. I was joking because I'm like, oh, this will go perfect on there. And everybody's like, what? It's like, I'm oh, just kidding. It's I actually ordered it for somebody that has a PM2. So that is pretty groovy. Uh, let's see here. Michael R just deleted his message. 
What were you saying, Michael R? Yeah, homemade lasagna was really good. It was really good. So thanks, Nelly, for that. There's a surprise SKL visit from Zach Stuff right there. The link right there if you want to check it out. Just a little barking. So we'll see what else is inside here. Whew, this is, is there anything in here? They just sent me an empty package. No, I'm just kidding. So we got two things from the Dead Fly Society over at Flytanium. Uh, we got their, you know, it looks like an alive fly, but you actually just, you put it on upside down. It's supposed to be a dead fly. That's one of their logos. So a little kind of ranger eye size patch for Flytanium and the Dead Fly Society. But what I really wanted to check out was this tri this thumb stud, this tritium. I almost said tritanium. <laughs> and there's a link right there to Flytanium. Now, they have some cool stuff. They just dropped. If you have a tagged out or if you want to get the tagged out, they have some titanium scales and some jade and black G10 scales. So those are pretty cool. This is regulated by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. They may not be disassembled by anyone other than Glow Rhino, which holds the necessary licenses. Any attempt to disassemble or repair will void any warranty. All right, so don't disassemble your glowy thumb studs. But they have a single-sided thumb stud. This one's a slot. I don't know if you can see that too well. But it is supposed to be blue. So we're going to test this one out. We're going to compare it and take a little uh, dark, you know, only causes cancer in California. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm safe then here in Oregon. Yeah, radioactive titanium scales. Yeah, I'm interested. But yeah, Flatanium has those tagged out scales. Check them out. Um, the black G10 looks kind of cool. We'll go with, you know, the orange barrel spacers nicely. But they also have that JG10 and the actual titanium. So pretty cool stuff. Rogue Blade Works still selling some of those as well. They are not the stock fashion. He deleted the lanyard hole on them. In my opinion, they feel a little bit better. But we're going to have to test this blue out and see how it goes. So we have the bug out. Let me get the bug out out. But we have the bug out currently decked out with the Glow Rhino, Flytanium stuff, the thumb stud, and then this lanyard plug. This lanyard plug is legit. Molly and I got you the big, uh, big screen today. Oh, nice. Got us on the big screen. Nice. Okay, okay. So we'll put this one on and we'll see how those compare. Just those two. I mean, obviously the slot's going to be a little bigger, but I want to see how the blue looks. So we're going to test out the blue, see how it works on this bug out build, and see if we're going to switch it over. And maybe, just maybe, they'll come out with a lanyard bug slot. But we shall see. We shall see. So I got two packages here. I'm confident of where one came from because one of them has the return address on it. And the other one, which is this one, and to me, I want your opinion what this sounds like. To me, my guess was broken children's toys. And I was told, that's not what's in there. So that's one thing that's in there. Scales, oh, that's good, that's a good guess. A bag of water, okay, okay. I like that. Packing peanuts, okay, probably. St streams cutting out a little bit. Legos, okay, Legos. A couple votes for Legos. Marshall, I one, two, three, witness my snark in HD, Justin. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marshall, for the super chat. That is awesome. <laughs> Tic Tacs, Trucker's Lemonade. No, hopefully not. A pony. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, so we'll open this one up. This comes to me uh, courtesy of OCD for EDC family. Uh, they were kind enough to send this to me. I say kind enough prior to opening it. 
But, okay, I've already seen one thing in it. I'm like, all right, all right. But, yeah, it's a bike chain, exactly. I wouldn't give a pony away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Molly is not going to give that away. There's the alpaca zip pouch link. Thank you so much for getting that big red. I will have to check that out as well. It's blue, so it sounds good. Gloves, okay. We have a party hat that is stuck to something else inside here. So let's just go ahead. Like I said, let's just go ahead, get it all out on the table. We got some OCD for EC stickers. But did we get everything? Yes, we got everything out of there. Where do we start? <laughs> it's do-it-yourself Damascus. Yep. So we got Namaste Mother Effer Snarky Tea Yoga Pants All Day Air Day. It's all dented can. Wonder if there's anything in it. Oh, there is some tea. All right. Well, we'll we'll have to brew some of the snarky tea up. <laughs> We got a keychain, some silly straws, a flip flop keychain from Puerto Rico. We got a mini happy birthday hat. Let's tie it up some nerds. We got Tokyo a go go. We got Bratz World little doll. Interesting. Uh, this looks like the old cassette tape holders. It's a little skinnier though. Maybe it's the Fuji brand. Opens up, holds things. This is guessing like a needle thing or maybe a little tool holder. Maybe for drill bits or something. Let me know in the chat here. The can got smashed. Oh, yeah, I don't doubt it. Okay, so it was a legit can. Yeah, that's why I said like it, it didn't last. The post office wasn't very nice of it. We do have one of these, one of these awesome little kits for breaking down your access style lock, lock knives. This has the, the wedges, all the right, you know, um, pivot holders for your different knives, all that stuff to hold the access bar back and all that made in created by OCD for EDC. So since we have two of those now, we're going to put something in a little, Hey, how are you? We got some OCD for EDC swag. So thank you. Thank you. That is really cool. Awesome. Yeah, it opens. Yeah, pivot tool holder. Yeah. Open the reins. The reins. Sleep night opener. Warning. We got a uh, little wrench. Hex wrench. We got the mini mounds, the mini twizzlers, the zots. The zots are always fun. We got the nerds. We got a friendship bracelet. We can be friends. We can be friends. Open the raisins. Are there raisins out here? This is tea drops, citrus ginger. I know where to put that. Hold on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are we? Do we have raisins? Oh, it's right here. Soda can. There's something all over this. There's like crumbs and stuff. I don't know what's in there. Open the raisins. The mini raisins. I was looking for big raisins. I don't think this opens. It's probably like an exploding one. Yes, this is a wonderful, wonderful package gift from the OCD family, so thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to open it, but it's not coming out. It's one big raisin. Yeah, Slim Tissue, welcome back. I'm glad you got your membership back. That's awesome. Yeah, the mini raisins aren't opening. I tried. <laughs> we got a little flag. So when we go, you know, isn't this the right color for a diver in the water? Yeah, I got the redoubt, man. We could chop that lid right off. 
We got the unicorn uh, cloud pen. We got all the colors of the rainbow. Nice, nice. Well, very cool. That is awesome. I appreciate the the wonderful gift that was in the bag. All sorts of fun stuff. We're gonna put this little uh, glitter rope to use. Throw some some good little candies and stuff. I'm gonna give out some friendship bracelets this week. A little OxyClean. We'll have the whole kit done. <laughs> I will try the tea. We'll give you a report back on it. It's get your zen on with a divine cup of this raspberry orange green tea. That smells good. So we're going to package all this back up into the nice little padded envelope it came in. Pinch grip on the raisins. Yeah, I tried all sorts of grips and squeezing different angles and popping tops. And this is like party hat right here. We'll have to put that on and wear that with our our suits. Here, we're going to let Mrs. Ack look at this while I open the other stuff. All sorts of fun stuff. Dig in. Mrs. Ack's here in the background hanging out, reading all sorts of books. <laughs> She's like, I'm not reading anything. I'm watching NASCAR. Watching NASCAR, yo. Yeah. What's up, Dang Ross? Remember the crew? Welcome, welcome. Gator Aaron saying hi to Mrs. Zach. Hi. Says hi. All right, so we got... Molly says the party hat is for bear. <laughs> nice, there you go, there you go. Okay, so we got a small box to open here. Let me move my uh, sticker and patch off the little counter here. So, obviously, as you can see, it's a big box. Hand size, all that good stuff. Small box. Stuff sharp enough's in the house. What's going down? Hashtag tiny box. Mike Jernak saying hi, as well as Big Red. Hi, everyone. Lady Zach in the house says Marcus. We got Rusty. Everyone saying hello. Yes. So I have pretty good content idea or confident idea that this is also from the OCD family. So I'm going to check this out. Yeah. This is like, what's in the box? What's in the box? Cut it on camera. Five door, what's up? Memers Anonymous, how are you? Same size Amazon uses to send me a Mora Eldris. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, this weighs about 35 pounds or so. Yeah, it's definitely an XL bug out, 100%. I think it also used to be a much bigger box and it got cut down because you can see like some of the pieces on the other end. Let's see if I can show that. They like trimmed it off and taped it over and stuff. So kind of interesting, but. Oh man, is it gonna give me a little grief? Oh, there's a whole nother piece of tape over there. All right, stand by. There we go. All right. So first off, thank you to the OCD family and I hear there might be some interesting topics of conversation tonight for your live stream as well. So we'll definitely be tuned into that. we got all sorts of air popping friends here. Air cushions, it says. Some of them came pre-flattened. So shout out to the pre-flattened ones. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Zach said, thanks for the nerds. She's a... Uh, Already digging into them. So great gift, Mrs. OCD. Thinking ahead there. Okay, we have two boxes inside. That one's okay. Hold on. Let's try to condense these. Inspected approved, says one. So let's get that on here. 
And the other one says MC. Metal Complex is in a box, but it came from Amityville, New York. New York. Y O U R K. York. <laughs> they are nesting boxes, yes. Rub the boxes together. What's up, David H., member of the crew? Nuts for Knives, also a member of the crew jumping in. Thanks for being here. We need your likes. Hit the like button, definitely, 100%. All right, so let's get involved. Let's go with the, let's go by weight. So the heavy one, we'll wait for that. Let's open this one first. Get our channel unboxing knife out again. Ooh, that one's already open over there. Someone was trying to get into it. New York. New York. We be clubbing. We, 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 pro tip. You might want to limber up. This crate is a stubborn adversary. Capture the struggle on video, then strut your stuff on Facebook and Instagram at Man Crates. Man Crates. At least one person out of 7.4 billion thinks you are great. There are probably more. Well, thank you. That is awesome. That is a really cool thing. Now, literally, there is a crate inside here. I was trying to see if this opens up, but I thought maybe they'd put a note in there, but no, they didn't. No notes. So this is a legit crate that comes with a pry bar. Okay. What's up, Todd Carr? Remember the crew? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for hitting that like bar or that like button. Not the like bar. It's a man crate pry bar. And that's a legit wooden crate. So let's get this uncrated. Of course, we couldn't have OCD send something that wasn't crated up properly. So let's see if we can get this off. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up too much. I would think not because it's crated. Nice. Somebody used a nice little uh, finishing stapler to get this all done. Man crates. Yep, we got multiple Todds in the house. We got Todd Kingery and Todd Carr, both crew members. Thank you for being here. So I guess we should just get into it, huh? Just trying to see if there's an edge that was, uh... and they glued it too. What the heck? What are they trying to do here? It's a leg lamp. It's a leg lamp. Yeah, exactly. This is this is crazy. I might have to get a hammer. Hold on. Oh, we might be able to get through the glue here. Hold on. There we go. Let's try to get in there. That way it's not working too well. Let's go back this direction. There we go. Looks more like glued on the top edge than stapled or nailed on this side. I wish they would have nailed it. Would have been more fun. Use a bug out to hammer with it. Yeah, I should have. All right. So there's some wood edges. We'll peel those off. Get this cardboard out of here. And see what we have for golfing at its finest. So we can limber up. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. We got some liqueur nuts. The rum sweetened kettle cooked peanuts. Those look good. Made with sugar plum. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Out of Pennsylvania. We got some handmade caramels. Craft beer and pretzel flavor. Ooh. Look at this one. I thought this said golf. What the heck? What are these? Bourbon bears. Oh. 
Got a little bourbon. Look at those little bears in there. All right, what does it say? Uh, non-alcoholic. Dang it. I was hoping. What a way. But then you have your Bailey's. What is this? Irish cream loaf cake? Oh, man, we're going to have to do a taste test thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive this whole thing. We may have to do a separate live stream for taste testing. But we're going to have to open something here. Gin and tonic dark chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. A little cocoa. Okay. Some more packing material. And we have an awesome box. All right, enough of that. What's that? I said, thanks, OCD. Thanks, OCD. Yeah, Mrs. Zach's like, thanks, OCD family, for that. Yeah, when you send kids instruments for a gift, the parents are like, thank you. Get a bunch of them. Yep, yep. I like it. <laughs> yeah. What's the ABV percentage of this box? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna open this one. Get limbered up. Can't go wrong with a loaf cake. I, that's the one I might open here in a few. You know, because honestly, I had those cinnamon pull parts from Costco. They were kind of like, meh, I only ate a couple of them. Non-alcoholic Irish cream loaf cake. We're gonna have to get involved in this, I think as Mr. OCD would say. We're gonna have to get involved in this one. But let's see what's in this one. Oh, we got another wood crate. Okay, okay. This one's glued to the lid a little bit. You could have left me to have the wolves. Oh no, left me to the wolves and no one would have blamed you. Thanks for being our friend and for the invite to Hawaii. Oh, there's a little note on there. I wonder if those notes are hand typed. That one must be. Well, you're welcome. Ah, left you to the wolves. All right, so let's get this one out. Actually, let's do this. There we go. All right. There we go, there's another man crate. Now we know this one's all glued up. What's up, Alicord Paracord? Is anybody else jumping in there? El Cap Attic, I had a little wood crate from Snickers as a kid. Oh, there you go. It's making Todd hungry, he hasn't had dinner yet. No, I'll use a knife to break down that cardboard, but not right now. We got some unboxing to do, some unglue boxing. I'm a man with a crate. Oh, you're getting lag, I'm sorry. It's the internet, I apologize. I do not have any internet boosters out here and we are way far away from the router, so apologies for that. Somebody sent me a large box, a couple crates. Thank you, the OCD family, for doing that. But it keeps us... Oh, that was my pinky. Oh, that hurt. Not really, but it's okay. We'll keep moving. Just a small wound. Okay. Course it just takes off that one piece. It's pretty exciting. I think this is the reason for the box. Just to watch somebody unbox it. Open it up live. Do it live. All right, this is fun. <laughs> Go with another one. Sorry if I'm missing your comments. I had to turn off all my other devices. 
Image is frozen. He says, refresh it, Marshall. The heck? Oh my goodness. Well, this one's glued on there pretty good. Stand by. Let's see what other tools we got here. Let's see if we can cut down this glue a little bit. All right, good, Marshall. I'm about to go get hammer out of the garage. It's like made out of that layered press board, so each layer just breaks. So it doesn't really actually grab and unbox. So, all right, stand by. We're gonna get a hammer. Mrs. Zach is busy, so she can't get a hammer. <laughs> Let's try the screwdriver first. I only got 32 wood splinters out of it. Pretty good deal. Ow! That hurt again. Thanks for grabbing a hammer. Just during my live stream, you know? Making it real for the people. We'll get you guys going in just a second here. Mrs. Axe on her phone, which is probably helping with the, the live stream stuff. Of course, when you need a hammer, you can't find one. There we go. This one will work. Love it. Let's do it. Don't want to mess with princess parking. <laughs> All right. Stand by, stand by. open. Right on, David. All right. We got that side open. our pry bar now. <laughs> you can come over and save the box if you want, but she's on there good. Ah. This is the uh, the box of ha ha we got you. <laughs> We're just woodworking. There we go. Should be able to crack that baby open now. Oh. There we go. A little bit of a mess. But shop backs are for right all right we got some apple cider donut mix excellent got a little kindle fondue set a couple of hammer marks through it that'll work got some cookies and cream fondue to put in there 
And some strawberry champagne, dark fondue. Got a little fondue kit going here. Oh, and you got yourself a donut pan. Making some donuts. Nice. Well, thank you so much. That was a fun one to get into. Be repaying the favor on that one. Woo. Love it. No, those are really nice. I really appreciate that. <laughs> See if we can get some of this off the counter here. Yeah, it's <laughs> easy in the chat. Definitely. All right. Try to get the counter cleaned off. A little bit at least. All right. Well, there we go. We got some all sorts of good stuff to try out. I did promise we would try this one out. So let's get torn into this. This is the Bailey's Irish Cream Loaf Cake. Can't go wrong with that. I love that. I love that. All right. Stand by. Got to take care of something. Really quick. Get some stuff cleaned off. Had splinters going everywhere, so it'll be a fun afternoon of cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning. Throwing hammers around. All right, let's try this loaf cake, this Irish cream loaf cake out. Courtesy of the man crates. Can you smell it? Oh, tits in the house. What's happening? All right, it smells pretty good. Let's try this out, though. Let's see what we can get going on this one. We'll get a little, hey, how are you? With this, of course, look at that. Let's see if we can pull that up. There you go. Nice little loaf cake. Yeah, exactly. Heck yeah. Of course, this one has to go to Mrs. Zach first. Can't go wrong with that. Excellent. Let's try it out. Get a little piece, a little sample. Little sampler. Yeah, it's probably me. Hmm. Okay. I do have to say it tastes just like Bailey's, but it's non-alcoholic. Hmm. All right. I'm not too mad at that. It's pretty good. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Well, we had a couple other things to look at today. Running over on a little time. So I'm going to save a couple of them for the next live stream. We'll try to do that Thursday night and uh, have an EDC-friendly one for international friends. But a huge thank you to OC for EDC. For sending out these awesome man crate boxes, which I don't know why the second one they had to glue down with other things on the other end, but they needed to. So we had to show it some love. I will save a piece for the guy at Costco. What's up, Jeremy? How are you? But we do have a couple of things I wanted to share. These are custom bug outs built in the best, built in the bench made custom knife builder. And these are one of the, you know, lime green. It's got purple accents uh, for the barrel spacers. It's a really cool green, kind of that electric green. Obviously, you can do different color thumb studs, different color barrel spacers. Yep, Kevin Big Red's in the house every time. We love that. And they also do different color scales. So green is pretty awesome. I love that green color. But they also have a different color that kind of, pops out and they have that same color pink that I've done on the mini uh, bug outs with uh, Rit Dye. But they also had this one. And this is the purple. So purple barrel spacers, purple thumb studs, purple scales to match. You can build these yourself in the custom uh, knife builder there at Benchmade. 
they had a couple of these in stock at the factory store. So if you want one right now and you live close by, that's where you can pick it up. But they have that hot pink one as well. Uh, the hot pink didn't have hot pink thumb studs, but it did have the black thumb studs and the black bla uh, bag, which made it look really cool. So if you like purple, this is a really cool one. All purpled out. And of course, you could do black uh, barrel spacers if you want to, but this one's pretty nice. And there's a link right there from Big Red. You can ch check it out, build your own. You could also use the, uh, do the, the mini Kirk River, the full size Kirk River. Any of those work really, really well. And you get some custom builds on them. Now, I don't know if you guys asked, but here's what I'm carrying today. And this is the G10 Sheep's Foot Edition full size Griptilian. This is one that uh, was built in the custom knife builder. They've taken the Griptilians out for right now. I'm hoping that means they're going to add something else. I will still put my vote in for the Benchmade 940 to be added. That would be pretty rad. So we can always hope. We can always hope. All right. So now that we've created some uh, some clean for our fire, we can get that stuff going. But we should probably do a fun little giveaway just because we can celebrate destroying the countertop and those boxes with a hammer. So let's put these bug outs off to the side. We'll feature those on an upcoming episode. I also want to feature this on the upcoming uh, live stream, which is the Icon Toolbox, the locking flex head and ratchet bit set. If you're thinking about getting one, they have a $9 off coupon. It's 25% off right now. Go to the website. The coupons are on there as well. Uh, if you put your email in there, they'll email you the coupons. But this has a lifetime guarantee. You could also use that coupon on other stuff. Band-Aids and Pinky Finger Rehab. Oh, Big Red. <laughs> too funny. Thank you, Big Red. That's too nice of you. I appreciate that. And there's the there's the link right there to the I or to the Harbor Freight website. Go check it out. On the main page is all the coupons there. And then you can basically go and they give you a coupon code when you're lock, looking at the locking flex head ratchet bit set, which came to our attention originally from OCD for EDC, Justin over there, he found that. Had to wait forever for it to come in, but they you can order it right now online. And I think it says it'll be in stock like middle of May and they'll ship it to you. So if you don't have one close, that's a good option. You pick it up for nine bucks off, you get it for $35.99. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and stay tuned. You never know, see that one again on Thursday. But we're also gonna check out this on Thursday as well. The Hawkbill flip knife, I picked that one up. It's got the curved blade. Ideal for pull cuts and piercing. Um, kind of a, a, almost like a pop metal handle. So we're gonna have to check that one out. Lifetime guarantee though on that one still. So we'll have to see how that one goes, but it is made in China out of stainless steel. So we'll get some more information before we share that. But, Let's do a little giveaway. That one actually, you could use a coupon on it, but it, to me, it's it's expensive for what it was. Uh, it was $14.99, and that to me was pretty expensive for what it was. So, all right, so let's do a giveaway. And let's get a little stuff on there. Oh, Doyle rules. We're gonna give away that awesome, awesome access lock set for when you maintenance Come on, use the right words, right? You're not taking it apart, you're maintaining your Benchmade knife. And then others, like the Hogue, you can actually take it apart and not tell anybody. Uh, or tell them, because they don't care. Uh, some OCD swag. We got some slick em all on a tube there. We got one of these awesome work sharp sharpeners. We're gonna throw that in there. It does have, it was a testing line, so there is a testing line that's been done on it, but it's pretty much brand new. But, you know, I'm just saying. We got an awesome thing of swag. We got some stuff in here from Pocket Razors. Shout out to Oregon Adventure, Oregon Truck and Auto Authority, sorry, Department of Adventure. Shout out to them, Pocket Razors, keeping it real. We got one of their stickers in there, some Zach stuff swag, a little bench made, one of the keychains for Oregon Truck and Auto Authority. Of course, the hashtag DSKFS patch. And we're gonna throw in a concept knife for today's giveaway. Big Red put the rules up, but this one, Kind of a fun one. It's got a neat look to it. It's called the Cryo, K-R-Y-O. This one's got that like burlap Micarta look. Brand new in the box. It's a decent sized knife, you know, large glove size hand. 
So you can get a decent grip on it. Liner lock. Detent's pretty solid. You're going to have to be, you know, broken in a little bit. But yeah, we're going to throw that one in today for today's giveaway. So we got that stuff out there. We'll take the bug outs out so don't get confused. And you can't have my snacks and the awesome chocolate stuff for Mrs. Zach in the little Kindle. What is it called? Chocolate fondue set. There you go. That's hers. Just kidding. But no, awesome. Really, really good gifts. I appreciate that, OCD for EDC family. We're going to have a cool little giveaway here today. And Big Red put the links up there. Alicord Paracord, send me an email. We got you. We got you. Brian and Scott are in the house. There you go. All right. So we're going to pick a number and you're going to do one guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. Ties go to a second round. USA addresses only. And my master moderators and my screen will be final. So I'm going to pick a. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to pick a range. I was like, swarm? Swarm? Oh, that grayish color like threw me off totally earlier. The grayish. And I've seen different shades of grayish now. That should be like a new series. We'll do that with the boxes here. Shades of grayish. Shades of grayish. Okay. So we'll fold this up. What's up, Silva? How are you? We got this awesome, awesome, fun giveaway for you guys. Thank you for joining in. And don't forget to check out some of the newest videos because we may do some giveaways like earlier where we ask some just totally random questions and say, what were the prices of the eyelashes? And then you win something. So, haha, <laughs> 50 of them. All right, so when we see a start from our friend, Big Red, No Man Create Pry Bar, we got one of those extra pry bars. I'll throw one of those in there. Heck yeah. We got one that we didn't use, so let's throw that one in there. There we go. Throw a pry bar in too. Uh, so my moderators, I will definitely have to count on you to help me out because I do not have my other ones in there, but we do have a start. So our range is 200, 400 range is two zero zero to four zero zero. One guess, one guess only close without going over ties to go to the second round. Good luck. <laughs> All sorts of fun stuff going on today. Couldn't get a hammer from Mrs. Zach. I tell you. Hogging up all the Wi-Fi. <laughs> She's like, I'm not doing anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone's in her space today. I am in her space. I am all over her space. Her space, the dog space, everything. We're in everybody's space. And I'm going to have to clean up all the space to now. Got wood chips everywhere in the toaster, in the sink. I'm just kidding. All right. I don't even remember what number I put on there. I think I do. We'll see. 276 says Tim for big. Red is checking Tim B out. Nice. Helping him out, helping him out, throwing a number down. Remember, one guess, one guess only. Close without going over. Ties go to second round. Thursday, I'll be back in my normal office. We will get down to business. And we'll be way closer to the internet so we don't have any of these problems like we did today. Mrs. Zach said, good. Get the heck out of here. Get out of my area so I can watch my NASCAR in peace. And baseball. All right. Cherry Pie's voting. Welcome in, Cherry Pie. Cherry Pie. Jay is here. Lewis is here. B for Baron, Vincent. And Tim B's like, hey, I appreciate it. Hey, that's two guesses that right, you know? You get two legitimate guesses for you. Like it. Jade's guessing as well. We still got wood chips all over. 
We're going to have fun with that. Not really, but it's what I do for you guys. We make it, we make a, a crazy mess out of it. That's how you, that's how you, that's how you do opening of boxes. Just kidding. Kind of that balsa wood junk. So it's like neat in concept, but it would be really cool if they just did it like padded, but it's all good. And use nails. But I guess maybe people get hurt with nails these days. I don't affiliate with anybody anymore. Uh, they kind of shut down their affiliate stuff that we were using with them. So I'm, I'm not putting out anything with them. The only stuff I was using was with uh, Olight. And you can use the code Zach, Z-A-C-H. And I'll get you 10% off. Go there now. Just kidding. I, I don't do any of that. That's not me. Uh, okay. So we'll see some stop signs from our moderator, Big Red. We'll go back and see who is the closest. I will lean on my moderators to help me out with this one. Uh, I appreciate Alicord, Paracord. Check out her stuff. Alice is awesome. Yeah, it will definitely be doing the Sundays again. So mark your calendars. Noon Pacific will be here on Sundays. In my own space, minus any large packages showing up. I obviously will have to go outside for the next one, according to Mrs. Zach. So there's some guests. There's some stop signs right there. We're going to get off this live stream and get the flock out of here and clean up. 200 to 400, 378 was your number. 378. Let's see who was closest without going over and if anybody got it right on the money. Yep, I think so, Brasher Beard. Give it a whirl. We'll get that going 100%, 100%. <sighs> Camera's all covered in sawdust. We had wood shavings everywhere. Balsa wood splinters everywhere. I'm going to go out and do a... This is your kindling, your fire starter kit. We got it all on the floor, on the counter. We're good to go. Tom is full of good ideas. Zach, next time you get a crate, invite Jimmy Slash over. I know, I should, definitely, 100%. I see a couple of 372s. Had a 370. Louis is 378 dead on. Louis is 378 dead on. All right, we'll wait till the moderators weigh in. Zach is back. What's up, Leo? Don't bother me none. Said Louis is 378. Awesome. Awesome. OCD said Louis is 378. Big Red says it as well. Awesome. So we got Louis guessing it right on the money. Tom says it as well. Congratulations, Louis. Marshall says it as well. And all of you are saying it as well. Congratulations, Louis. Louis, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. We'll get this confirmed for you and shipped out first thing tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks to Mrs. Zach for letting me camp out in her area while she watches NASCAR. Thank you all for being here. Thanks to all my channel members who are here. Don't forget the chat, uh, the uh, channel sale of those knives. There's three left. Um, those are going to the general population of the channel tomorrow. So check out that video. Any new channel members, if there's something that you want to pick up, let me know. Priority shipping is included. But you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Make sure to do something kind for someone. Hashtag DSKFS. Thanks again to OCD family. Make sure to check them out tonight, 5 p.m. Central. 7, or sorry, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Pacific. If you get messed up, go to knife schedule, knifetubeschedule.com. I got everything mixed up today. I'm out of my element. 